My name is Justin B. I'm a local medical practitioner, and uh, I've been asked to speak with you for a few minutes on the subject of acupuncture. We're combining health and music, and alternating back and forth between the two. So while the band sets up, I thought I could share some of my uh, experiences, clinical experiences. And the way I uh, thought I would uh, present the information would be to sort of answer the questions that are mostly asked to me by my patients when they come see me in my office. So that way uh, people get the information that they tend to request. Acupuncture um, is something that is very interested, people are very interested in acupuncture recently. It's very popular in the, in the media. Uh, there have been many new studies outlining the efficacy of acupuncture, showing acupuncture in a, in a very positive light, and I'm very grateful for all those things. Of course, acupuncture is very old. Acupuncture is something that's been around for many hundreds of years, and yet it's very new to us here in the West. So we're not exactly sure about what acupuncture is capable of achieving, all the different uh, diseases and, and symptoms that acupuncture is capable of resolving. So we're working on some, getting some of that information now as we uh, use acupuncture in the modern era. Most people that come to, uh, to, to use acupuncture as a medical modality do so because they are suffering from some sort of symptom. And the, by far the most common symptom that we see with acupuncture is pain. Pain is a, uh, a symptom that is uniquely suited for the treatment uh, with acupuncture. Often, we see pain as a symptom. Pain can signal the body that there is uh, some malfunctioning in the system. And so, uh, what we try to do with uh, traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture is find out why. Why does the patient have pain? What is the cause of pain? In traditional Chinese medicine, we have a, our own differential diagnosis. We use a different set of assumptions and a whole different type of uh, system of medicine that we use in the West. It's an ancient system based upon classical concepts of balance. Uh, in traditional Chinese medicine, when a patient experiences a symptom uh, such as pain, we usually uh, relate that to some sort of uh, imbalance in the, in the patient's system itself. In Chinese medicine, there's a concept of yin and yang two opposing energies that exist inside of the body. And when these energies are brought into balance, then the patient's body tends to act with more efficacy. When these symptoms, when these very uh, energies become out of balance, then the body shows that, that disbalance. Acupuncture is a, a modality that has, actually has quite a few similarities to modern medicine. In acupuncture practice, often we treat patients for their symptoms. This is uh, something that patients tend to appreciate. If a patient has a symptom of, let's, let's uh, use pain as an example, then often uh, acupuncture is attempted to alleviate that pain. With acupuncture, we usually have a very dramatic and very uh, quick uh, sort of result. Most patients uh, experience uh, dramatic improvements as a result of uh, treatment. And yet, some patients experience no benefit at all to acupuncture. It's very difficult to predetermine which patient is the, is the perfect candidate for acupuncture and which patient acupuncture might be ineffective. And so, uh, unfortunately, our approach is to, is to try acupuncture. Usually we try a short series of visits. A patient with a chronic, uh, painful uh, symptom might come in for acupuncture for two or three visits, and then, based on the results of those visits, they're able to determine whether or not acupuncture would be successful for them. Dramatic improvements, which are quite common, would indicate that the patient's symptoms would probably be resolved with acupuncture. Uh, no benefit after a few visits, and often the therapy is discontinued. Acupuncture involves the placement of very small needles uh, in specific points in the body. And many patients ask, well, what sort of medicine 
uh, is on that needle because I take quite a few medicines and I need to know what sort of medicines I need. Well, with acupuncture, there is no medication associated with the treatment. Acupuncture is uh, a medical modality that uses the patient's immune system as the tool that we used in order to try to heal the patient. So we don't apply medicine to the patient and we don't take anything away from the patient's body. Basically we try to help the patient's body become more efficient, become more effective. I usually talk about pain because, as I said, pain is the most common symptom that we see. Pain is something that many people experience. And pain often represents a kind of a, a failure, if you will, uh, an inability of the patient's immune system to properly function. If somebody picks up a big box of junk from their attic and they strain their back and they start with, uh, with a problem with their back, usually that goes away. Most strains and sprains and injuries resolve by themselves. But in some cases, the pain persists. In some cases, the body is unable to completely heal from injury. Whether that injury was traumatic, like a car accident or picking up a big box, or whether that injury came about very slowly, like for instance, sitting too long in one position or holding that computer mouse for a little too long, or driving and driving. So when the body becomes injured, it heals itself. And this is what we expect of our bodies. And yet, when that process is ineffective, or when that process uh, is incomplete, we're left with chronic pain. And this is what acupuncture is best suited for. When the patient's immune system is unable to heal themselves completely, we use acupuncture as a stimulation. We consider the patient's immune system as the tool that we use to try to help that system work better. And when we put needles in the patient's body, we're calling out, if you will, the power of that patient's immune system. We all can realize that a foreign object in your body will cause your body to have a reaction. If a patient or if any person were to accidentally fall up against a, a thorn bush, or let's say you have cactus thorns stuck in your body, your immune system responds to that. And, and there's a, a cascade of immune response the cells around the area that have been punctured have special chemicals that they release. A humoral sort of immunity that's based on uh, large chemicals in the body. There's also specific cells that the body makes, white blood cells that are, that are protectors. And in a way, I, I often link this to a kind of a, uh, almost like the army going into battle. When you're invaded, your country gets invaded, you know, the army draws its, itself up and it goes into battle the invaders. And in a way, that's kind of what we do with acupuncture. We encourage the immune system to respond to acupuncture, and that response, potentially, has the capacity to resolve the previous existing problem that the patient came to see me for. So, if the, if the, if the patient's connective tissue or muscular tissue has become injured, chronically injured, by inserting small needles into the uh, acupuncture points that are associated with that area, we encourage the patient's immune system to heal that area. 